This is the last part of our movie and we have reached some important conclusions you might want to know. So as you know, we were trying to fly this thing with the AV-130 using two such LiPo batteries placed on the battery trays. Battery tray. We have flown it and unfortunately our plan did not work. If you attempt to fly the F-550 using AV-130 and two LiPo batteries like this one, it will just not fly. And by that I mean that it will be, uh, it will have so much vibration that it's uncontrollable. At the end of the movie we will show you some flight tests to see what, uh, what we are talking about. But we also tried to, to, try to, to work with different weights placed in different uh, parts of the frame. We also tried to place the batteries on top of the frame instead of placing them on the battery tray. And we realized that if we do this there will not be so much vibration. And we asked ourselves why, why is this? And the only conclusion was that the F550 is too flexible and it just cannot carry that much weight. For this reason, we tried to make the frame stiffer. We used these spacers here, four spacers, which were actually made from some broken arms, in order to make it more stiffer. And it is more stiffer, but it's not enough. If you look at this arm here, if I press the arm, you see I'm not putting much force here, it's just little force. And you can see the, the arm flexing in, in both, both directions. So although we make the frame stiffer, the arms are still way too, too flexible. So, the conclusion is that you can fly this upgraded F550, but with not so much weight on it. You can fly it with the AV-130. You should give up this idea of using the battery tray. And you can fly it with one battery, maybe use a, a bigger battery. You can see this one is a, an 8.2 amps battery and it's not that much. That uh, much weight, much extra weight if you use such a battery. It's only like 150 grams extra in comparison to this. But if you use two of these, they are just too, too heavy. So, our conclusion is that the best way to fly F550 with the AV-130 is to place one battery on top of it near the GPS and to connect the AV-130 directly on the bottom board. So, do not use any extra adaptation because it's just unnecessary. So we had a nice plan in mind, unfortunately after this much work it ended up not working. So if you do this just make sure you do not over, uh, overweight it. And uh, for this reason we have decided to switch to another frame. What you see here is a carbon core H650 frame. This is made entirely out of carbon fiber and we're going to move everything that we had on the F550, we're going to move it on this frame. We're going to make a separate video with this. We thought maybe connecting those two together like this, but we realize it will not work. <laughs> so this is it. Our plan failed. If you attempt to upgrade your F550, make sure you do not uh, overdo it, because you will just waste, uh, waste your time. Um, we also made some separate videos of how to install everything on the AV-130. So if you want to learn about that, just see our, our videos. See ya!